The news of George Floyd's murder shocked and saddened me as it did Americans across the United States and our friends around the world. It is particularly devastating because the pain stretches beyond this tragedy. It is a tragedy we have seen repeated far too many times. Like many of you, I have struggled with this difficult news for days. I'm deeply saddened that anything like what happened to George Floyd could occur anywhere in the world, let alone in the country I love and serve. The grief of George Floyd's loss, Tamir Rice's loss, Sean Bell's loss, Yvette Smith's loss, Amadou Diallo's loss, Rihanna Taylor's loss, and more, all at the hands of our police, as well as the loss of people such as Trayvon Martin and Ahmaud Aubrey, who were killed by armed members of the public. This grief weighs heavily on our U.S. mission, our nation, and our friends. Americans and people the world over are speaking out for justice. Authorities in the United States must take serious action to stop such killings and to ensure that justice is done when they do occur. Procedures must change, prevention systems must be put in place, and above all, police officers who resort to excessive force should be charged and convicted for the crimes committed. The U.S. Attorney General has said that the outrage of our national community about what happened to George Floyd is real and legitimate. Accountability for his death must be addressed, and he has promised that justice will be served. To this promise, I am personally grateful to see that charges have been filed against all the officers present when George Floyd was killed. But we know that this is not enough. Every day, each and every one of us must work together to improve our democracy and to become a better, fairer nation and people with freedom and justice for all. The commitment to our country's highest ideals of racial equality, freedom, justice, transparency, and dignity for all persons is the spirit which guides our engagement around the world and our desire to advocate for the fundamental freedoms of all people. The U.S. mission in South Africa will honor George Floyd as we work to promote human rights and dignity. We know that the people of South Africa understand this struggle in a very personal way and we appreciate your strength and support. We will have the necessary conversations about bias, power dynamics, and privilege. As leaders, it is incumbent upon us to work to leave a better world for our young people. For too long, leaders have neglected a duty bestowed upon them by virtue of their place in society. We can no longer leave it to the youth to resolve historic injustices that repeatedly return in painful and unacceptable ways. Our task is to foster human dignity and world peace for all. I call on our friends to join me and the U.S. mission as we work together with the South African people to make the world we leave our children better than the one we inhabit today.